Hey everyone, this is Ryan Jeske with the Prescott Caliber Club. In today's video, we're going to be doing something really cool. We're going to be taking a look at a new product that I just recently received from AB Suppressor. This is their Warthog, which is a new suppressor they have in their lineup, which is extremely affordable. I wanted to take a look at it, unbox it, show you what it looks like, show you how it shoots, go over some of the specifics, and just talk about the can because it's a really great option. Let's get into it. video, like I mentioned, I want to talk a little bit about a new suppressor from AB Suppressor. This is their Warthog. The Warthog, of course, is going to be their budget-friendly line. This is uh, right around $600 for the 762 suppressor. They also make one in 556, which I believe is about $550 or so. As usual, it comes, you know, just in their standard AB Suppressor boxes. When you open them up, there's always a nice foam piece here. It opens up and your suppressor would be inside. Now, the suppressor itself is really interesting because it looks a lot like their, their other flagship suppressors, the, uh, the Raptor series, because you've got the Spiral Tech baffles. The Spiral Tech baffles are cool because it helps swirl and cool. And along with the uh, H900, is it 17.4 heat treated stainless steel? The combination of those together really help reduce erosion at high extreme temperatures. Um, in addition to that, you have a flash hider on the end of every suppressor. Now, I've already upfitted mine, but they typically come with just a flush mount standard, you know, flush, flush mount uh, threads for your can. But the cool thing about the Warthog is that it is already set up to take something just like this, which is the ASR mount from Silencer Co. You can run a bunch of different cans, uh, a bunch of different lockup systems using the Warthog right straight out of the box. But it, it's amazing because if you end up with a rifle, let's say you have a set of rifles and you have them all set up with uh, silencer co-muzzle devices because you're running an ASR mount system and an Omega 300 or something like that. But you make the decision that you would like to come over and, and try the AB. Well, now what you can do is order an ASR mount. It threads directly into the back end. All you have to do is remove your standard uh, flush mount thread and you will thread your um, QD system, chosen QD system, right into the back of that. So that is the AB Raptor Warthog. This is the 762 model. So this is 11.7 ounces. That does not include the ASR mount, but it does include the uh, flush mount. It, Additionally, the total length is six and a half inches. The diameter, I believe, is 1.625. And then as far as the 5.56 goes, the, uh, it is a little bit lighter and a little bit shorter. Uh, 5.56 is 10.6 ounces instead of 11.7, and it's five and a half inches instead of um, 6.3 inches. Everything else is the same. And again, the 5.56, you can also use uh, your favorite mounting system. So the suppressor itself, uh, again, is H900 heat treated 17.4 stainless. That was what AB decided to go with. As I mentioned earlier, that combined with the spiral effect of the baffles helps cool, helps eliminate erosion, corrosion, destruction of your suppressor. So that's really good. Uh, and the last thing that they really have is that the blast chamber itself actually has reinforcement rings into it just to help um, you know, reinforce the blast chamber itself. So I don't know if you guys have any questions. If you do, please jump in the comment section down below and let me know what you're wondering about the can. I would be happy to answer any questions. Um, what I would like to do is actually lay over some AB suppressor footage so I could show you the comparison of the Warthog to something like the Omega 300. Now I need to do that because unfortunately I cannot afford to buy one of the monitor or one of the uh, the decibel meters, the real good ones. They're extremely expensive and so a lot of times I will divert back to um, the manufacturer for their testing as long as they can kind of show their testing results and not just give you a piece of paper that says it. Um, and then after that I'll take you out into the workshop. I'll run a, a magazine of 300 Blackout through this just so you can maybe kind of hear a comparison of uh, 300 blackout unsuppressed versus suppressed through this can and from there we'll uh, go ahead and finish out the video. So guys 
Uh, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy the content here. We'll, we, we will be doing a lot more content, reviews, and, and things like that. But for now, let's, um, let's get into the AB suppressor content. We'll show you what these numbers really look like, and then we'll head out to the shop uh, where I could take a few shots and, and show you some live use of the can. Okay guys, so there you have it. Those are the results from AB Suppressor. It's extremely impressive. All of their suppressors are. They have um, their Raptor series. They have nine millimeter pistol caliber carbines. They have um, you know, reflex mounts that you can use to add volume to your can and utilize space around your barrel. There are so many different modular pieces to the AB Suppressor lineup and that's really, really why I love them. The AB Raptor uh, is one of my favorites but it's a little bit more expensive. And of course, the, uh, the Warthog here is, is really what is going to fit the bill for a lot of people who are looking at spending uh, significantly less than $1,000 out the door with tax and your tax stamp. So guys, um, I'm not going to keep chewing your ear off here. Let's take this out. We'll take a few shots, and then uh, we'll go ahead and finish out the video. So guys, as promised, we're out at the shop. I'm going to shoot my Noveski 300 Blackout. As you can see here, I have a Silencer Co. ASR mount on the front end. Of course, you can take your AB Warthog, drop it right on. It will thread into place and lock. And you are then set to go with the AB Warthog on an ASR mount. Now, I'm going to take two shots without the suppressor so you can hear how loud the blackout actually is without being suppressed and then I'm going to dump the rest of the magazine with the suppressor on and then we'll head back in. So first things first, we're going to take two shots, 300 blackout right here unsuppressed. That safety on. Now, we will go ahead and add our suppressor back in. So you can see the difference. Again, 300 blackout. These are subsonic. And let's go. And there it is. Suppress 300 blackout on an ASR mount with your AB Warthog. All right, guys, so there you have it. That is the AB Suppressor Warthog. I think this thing is awesome. I have set it up with an ASR mount so I can run it between all of my 308 guns, all of my uh, 556 and 300 blackout guns that I've got set up properly for this. It's quiet. 
It's, uh, it's affordable. It's got the flash hider. It's got bells and whistles. You can add your favorite QD mounts to save money on the back end, fit, uh, retrofitting them onto your rifles and stuff. So personally here at the Prescott Caliber Club, we are huge AB suppressor fans. The Warthog, I think, is an absolute awesome idea, especially because it's in the affordable category. So that's about all I've got for you guys today. Again, if you could jump down below and let me know if you have any questions, uh, just, just leave a comment. Let us know what you think we did, uh, how we did on the video, if there's anything else you'd like me to incorporate in future videos. Of course, hit that subscribe button. But for now, I really don't have anything else for you guys, so I just hope that each and every one of you stay safe. And as always, don't forget to keep prepping.